Noisy restaurants aren't just annoying. They may be bad for your health. Husker engineering professor Lily Wong is an acoustics expert. Wong studies the noise levels in schools, restaurants, and other public spaces. Wong's research shows that prolonged exposure to excessive noise can have physical effects, such as increased anxiety and fatigue. And restaurant staff risk permanent hearing damage. Wong runs the acoustics program in the Durham School, and she's the former president of the Acoustical Society of America. A new tree on the UNL campus is literally from out of this world. The sweet gum moon tree planted on East Campus was grown from a seed that flew three times around the moon. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition, and liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The seed flew in space for 25 days aboard NASA's Artemis One in 2022. The average sweet gum seed rides the wind for about 200 feet before it germinates. UNL's sweet gum, nicknamed Luna, traveled about 1.3 million miles before finally landing in Lincoln. The planting is an expansion of the Moon Tree Project that sprouted from the Apollo 14 mission in 1971. Husker researchers help panhandle farmers fight a rare disease. Several Western Nebraska wheat growers called the university last spring when they noticed their winter wheat looking bleached and sickly. The culprit was a fusarium head blight, also known as scab, a notoriously destructive plant disease rarely seen in western Nebraska. The panhandle had more rainfall than normal in 2023, which enabled the fungal outbreak. After extensive field testing, UNL agronomists and plant pathologists came up with a new wheat variety that's resistant to scab and other fungal diseases. The panhandle region produces more than half of the state's wheat. Husker students brighten up a southeast Nebraska city. Art students from UNL and Nebraska's Extension team up with community members to create a new mural in downtown Beatrice. The painting was designed by Husker student Maddie Vanderber for a summer street art class. It's Vanderber's first time working on such a large scale project. You kind of just have so much open space and a lot more room for fine detail than you'd think, but looking at it from the street completely changes how you see it. The idea to create the mural came from the staff at a downtown car dealership. They saw an opportunity for a community art project and they reached out to the university. I've gotten all kinds of text messages from friends and other business owners in Beatrice telling us how great this looks and how excited they are. And I think it just brings another level of interest to downtown. It beautifies our community and we're really excited to be a part of it. Young people from Beatrice helped with the actual painting during a community paint day. And that's what's happening this week at UNL. I'm Olivia Reed.